Hello, hello, and welcome to a little video about creating diagrams to solve word problems using the trigonometry that we've been learning. All right, let's do it. The height of this beautiful Chicago flag, uh, or of the flagpole, is 45 feet. The support to the ground makes an angle of 70 degrees. How long is the support? Round your answer to the two decimal places. Okay, first of all, I need to draw this out. The pole is 45 feet, so I'm going to label it as such. Now the support is like a, oh, like a rope or something like that that's connected to the pole in case, you know, there's strong gusts of wind. So that's the support. We don't know what it is. We are told that it's connected at a 70 degree angle. And the flagpole is attached to the ground in a perfectly straight way, right? That's the best way to attach a pole to the ground. So it forms a 90 degree angle. <clears throat> okay, um, let's solve for x. That looked kind of like a y, so I needed to fix it. There we go. All right. Now, um, across from our right angle, we have our hypotenuse. Across from the angle, we have opposite, so that's adjacent. Based on SOHCAHTOA, we are going to be using the sine because sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Let's plug everything that we know in. Sine of 70 degrees equals 45 over x. Okay, let's solve this problem. First, I'm going to multiply both sides by x to get x out of the denominator. I don't want it on the bottom. So I have x times sine of 70 degrees equals 45. I'm almost done with this problem. I'm going to divide both sides by sine of 70 degrees. On this side, they cancel. Here on, let's just scooch that over, x equals 45 divided by sine of 70. I'm going to go ahead, plop that into my calculator, and I get that that support is 47.89 feet. All right. Let's move on to another problem. An airplane is preparing to land in LAX. It is 15 miles from the airport. The angle of descent, that means going downwards, is six degrees. What's the height of the plane? Okay, I'm a visual learner. I need to see this and I hope it helps you as well. So I know that we're 15 feet away from the airport. So if the plane is here, let's say that's 15 feet. That means the airplane's right that tall or up, up over there which we don't know. We want to know how far up is the plane. We have an angle of descent. That means at which it's going downwards. That's six degrees. Oh, that's all we know. All right. Um, I'm creating a 90 degree angle here because to be exactly 15 feet away and see the height there, we need to have a perpendicular line, which means a 90 degree angle. Okay, let's see what we have. This is our angle. Across from it is opposite. Across from the 90 degree is hypotenuse, which means this 15 feet is adjacent. Based on SOHCAHTOA, I'm going to be using tangent because it's opposite over adjacent. All right, so we have the tangent of six degrees equals x over 15. Beautiful, this only takes one step. I'm gonna multiply both sides by 15 to get rid of it on the right hand side. So I end up with 15 tangent of six degrees equals x. And of course, I'm going to plop that into my calculator to find out how high up the plane is. And what I got is 1.58 miles. Did I write feet there? Okay. You know, that doesn't make any sense. It was 15 feet from the... Jeez. Oh, Miss Gooman. 
All right, it's 1.58 miles up in the air. So I'm pretty sure this airplane is getting ready to land. Okay, let's check this image out. Oh, it's so beautifully labeled. Look at that. I don't have to draw anything. How far is the ladder? Oh, oh, I forgot the ladder. How far away is the ladder? I think I deleted it by accident. So let's draw the ladder in. Oh, well. How far away is the ladder from the building? We need to round it. Theoretically, the ladder was supposed to be right here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so... We have a 45 degree angle. Here across from the 90 degree, we have our hypotenuse. Here is opposite, this is adjacent. So once again, I'll be using tangent because it's opposite over adjacent. Okay, so tangent of 45 degrees equals 122 over x. Oh, again, we need a two step. So much work, so much work. Let's multiply both sides by x to get it on the other side and out of the denominator. So on the left-hand side, we have x times tangent to 45 equals 122. I'm going to divide both sides by tangent to 45 degrees. On this side, they cancel. And I'm left with x equals 122 divided by the tangent of 45 degrees. When you plop that into your calculator, believe it or not, it's 122. That's right. Do we have units? Feet. If you're curious, the tangent of 45 degrees is in fact 1. That's how we got 122 again. All right, so I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you can see how this is applied in real life. Uh, for example, the building and the ladder. That has to do with some safety pro safety protocols, I'm sure, about how you how big ladders can be and the distance away from the building they must be. So there's a lot of safety rules in place for that. As far as the airplane goes, they need to, you know, they base their angle of descent based on the distance they are from the um, airport so they can land safely. Um, and then obviously with the flagpole, we don't want it to collapse on anyone. That's why we have a support. In order to find out the length of a standard or good support, we need to use some trigonometry. All right. Have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me or your teachers about it. Bye.